There's times while you're embroidering that you want the hoop to kind of move to a different position, whether you need to trim something or get something positioned. You have a feature that we're already into the embroidering screen, the stitch out screen here. Touch the picture with the hoop with the four arrows. And when that comes up, you're gonna notice you're on the current stitch position. Now, the park position, that's the position that the embroidery arm moves all the way to the left side. So you can get it back in your styrofoam in your box or to pack it up. So if I touch it, it's gonna move the arm all the way to the side. It also makes it so if you need to get to this area of the hoop, it moves the needle over to the right side, for example. The next one down is bobbin position. Now I, I, I like this because if I need to change my bobbin, check my bobbin, I can actually get to it, slide this out, pull the bobbin out, put the bobbin back in, put a new one in if it actually needs to be replaced. And then if you just go ahead and push start, it will move back to where you were. But sometimes what I'll do is touch current stitch position because I've got a long thing of thread that has kind of made a big loop. And sometimes what I'll do is pull on the top thread and kind of just eliminate that extra loop of thread. So go back one there, it kind of just lets it be a little smoother. The other one is the trim position. Now that moves the hoop all the way towards you so you can trim, you can do applique, trimming of the fabric, anything you need to do here in the work area of the hoop. So the hoop comes all the way towards you. Just watch out, if you are sitting really close to your machine, this hoop might come up and touch your body. So uh, <laughs> scoot your chair back just a little bit, then you won't have that hitting you. Also too, just as a, I'm gonna push it to the next one, center position. Another thing, because I use the trim position quite a bit, so I don't have to take the hoop on and off when I need to trim something. If I can get in, get in there and trim it, I will without that extra work. The needle up and down feature here is also the trim position. So if you're using that, and then once again, if you touch it again, it will bring it back to the current stitch position. So these are great features. I do use these quite a bit. So just when you're in here, just touch the picture for the hoop with the four arrows, up pops your options, and then you can go ahead and choose the one you need.